Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the New Zealand US dollar as we have some potential opportunities for the week ahead. Now, in our recent market outlook on our Blueberry Markets uh, blog post, which you can find in our free Telegram channel at the start of every week, um, the New Zealand dollar was a currency that I highlighted as a potential move higher, just because simply we had the RBNZ interest rate decision. Um, they actually held rates and were quite confident that they will be sticking at holding rates and won't be easing any further which would usually see some upside um, or add some strength to that particular market. Now, we were interested in Kiwi anyway because price had come back down into this previous swing low in 2015 on the monthly time frame and produced this really nice bullish monthly candle. So we're expecting this month to continue that path potentially up into these next lows. So if I actually just bring that a little bit higher through there, so I always look at previous structure breakout points as areas of support and resistance. The market is almost heading up to that area. So that's what I want to do. I want to try and trade up to that area. So if I go down into the daily time frame, we can see recently that price burst higher. And we actually spoke about Kiwi last week returning to this high and going long from there. So if you're in the long trade that we actually posted in the Telegram channel, you can see that the price is moving higher nicely. Now, how do we potentially continue to take advantage of this? So if I go down into the daily time frame, what I really want to do is just mark up Monday's high and low. And I'm just going to grab a uh, rectangle tool just to help me do that. Okay, so there's our Monday high. So if I now go down into a 15 minute time frame and just pull this in, you can see that price is breaking through all these key highs through here, that Monday high in particular. Um, so what I'm expecting out of this market is for the market to continue higher a little bit, pull back in, perhaps into this 6400 level um, or 6405s and then find support and continue to the upside okay so that's what i'm looking for here on kiwi dollar we've got this nice um trend starting to form here with the 20 50 and 200 moving average all pointing upwards giving us a good sign what i'd really want to see now is for the rsi to drop into that oversold condition giving us a potential opportunity to go long um, at the moving averages now there's a couple of different areas obviously we've got the monday highs which acts as support but we've also got this sort of area through here around about that 6407 6405 which would be something that i would look to um, position myself on so if there is any kind of uh, a pullback into this level and some bullish price action and the rsi goes into that oversold condition um, below 30 then i'll be waiting for bullish price action to go long on this market with the targets uh, to fly all the way up into this sort of monthly level be aware as well we do have other key um, levels so just a little bit lower around about the 64 65 sort of area as well so be aware of that but you know the market looks likely to continue to break and move higher so keep your eye on kiwi dollar it's definitely one to watch this week okay thanks for watching this video update hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe to the youtube channel for more and i'll speak to you very soon